If all goes according to plan, we will soon get to see pioneering activities in sustainable architecture in the realm of super skyscrapers. Here are green concept designs for the world's tallest skyscrapers that present a utopian vision for contemporary green urban planning. Slated to be the world's tallest building, if at all it transpires, the Exceed is being touted as an intelligent building that represents a utopian echo vision for a self-contained high-rise city in the Tokyo harbour powered by solar energy. The gigantic building would be approximately 13,000 feet tall with a 6 square kilometer footprint and could accommodate 500,000 to 1 million inhabitants. The futuristically named Exceed 4000 would maintain light, temperature and air pressure in response to changing external weather conditions. Chicago 2 was all set to bolster its architectural heritage with Chicago Tower, designed by Spanish architect Santiago Calatrava. The 2,000-foot Chicago Spire will be the world's second tallest building upon its completion in 2011. The sparkling superstructure incorporates a variety of sustainable elements, including a fluid facade shrouded in high-performance glass design to protect migratory birds. All landscaping is maintained via a rainwater Water recycling system and a geothermal system that draws river water to cool the building. Yet another enormous foster-designed Ecotar is all set to come up in Moscow, Russia. When complete in 2012, the colossal Okta Tower will be the tallest building in Europe at 2,009 feet and the largest with a natural ventilation system. The tower design uses a natural ventilation system to regulate energy temperature and hot water throughout the building. There will also be a series of green indoor gardens running up through the core of the building to assist with natural ventilation improving indoor air quality and provide recreational green space for the building's inhabitants. The pyramid shape for the building also maximizes exposure to natural daylight which will allow the tower to cut back on both electric light and heat during the day. Moscow's rapidly growing skyline will soon feature an eye-popping new addition, Crystal Island, which will be the world's biggest building when completed. The statistics for the project is staggering. Floor area alone will be four times the size of Pentagon in Washington, D.C., and will incorporate a number of sustainable design features into the overall scheme. The exterior facade will be solar responsive and will include solar panels, which along with wind turbines will generate electricity for the huge tower. Natural ventilation would be provided by numerous strategically placed atriums. Energy management being at the heart of the structure, several on-site renewable and low-carbon energy generation projects are also planned. Raising the bar on avant-garde green architectural icons in the furthest corners of the world would be the new ecological tower in Khanti Menzix in Siberia. The stunning tower will combine a cloud-piercing aesthetic with mixed-use functions and some of the most cutting-edge green building technologies. The tower will provide a location for living, working and leisure, designed sustainably to minimizing site impact and be sensitive to the harsh Siberian climate. The 280-meter tower would be clad with glass to maximize daylight through the winter months while reflecting natural light to illuminate the interior spaces. Construction is reaching its last leg on what might be the world's greenest skyscraper in Guangzhou, China. Pearl River Tar integrates the use of top-of-the-line sustainable technology, passive wind and solar design, and innovative structural techniques to create a near-zero energy building that is as beautiful as it is green. The list of green features goes on and on, from the double-skinned, triple-glazed facade to cooling beam structure and grey water collection system, this skyscraper design has all it needs to be as lightweight on the Guangdong grid as it can manage. We hope that the building proves to be as exciting in action as it has been in construction and design. Architect Robert Ferry recently unveiled a stunning design for a sustainable spire in Dubai that requires zero energy and produces zero waste and zero emissions. The Almizan Tower is a concept created for a Zabil park that generates all of its own energy using concentrated solar power technology. The tower itself is actually a solar power tower that uses heliostat's position at the top of the tower to direct sunlight onto a central receiver. 
The Spire's construction features eight wind towers that provide a natural cooling effect where hot air is drawn up and out of the tower via a chimney effect and cool air is drawn in. The star has an intriguing design and is the first one that we have come across to incorporate concentrating solar thermal energy into skyscraper design. Green supertars seem to be becoming quite the rage. Now the city of San Francisco is jumping on the green skyscraper train with brand new plans to build the West Coast's tallest skyscraper ever as part of the new Transbay Terminal development. This new transit station proposed for San Francisco is a major transportation hub which will connect a high-speed rail line between San Francisco and Los Angeles. The three proposed skyscraper designs are all over 1,200 feet. All feature large wind turbines on the roof to provide renewable energy for the building. Wind turbines certainly make sense on buildings this tall as the amount of wind in San Francisco at 1,200 feet is likely to be significant.